March is triple negative breast cancer month, and March 3rd is triple negative breast cancer day, a day really focused on awareness and action to raise funds, to improve outcomes for triple negative breast cancer. And one of the biggest advances that we have seen in triple negative breast cancer in the last few years has been the use of immunotherapy for early stage, stage two and stage three breast cancer. Uh, and so let's talk a little bit about that. I am Dr. Eleanor Chaplinsky. I'm a board certified medical oncologist specializing in the treatment of breast cancer. There are many different immunotherapy drugs out there, but the one that has been approved for stage two and stage three breast cancer, triple negative breast cancer, has been Keytruda or Pembrolizumab. This was approved on the basis of the Keynote 522 study. And what happens in this study and how we give it is Keytruda is given in combination with chemotherapy in the neoadjuvant setting, so before surgery. So it's carboplatin and paclitaxel with Keytruda, followed by adriamycin and cytoxin with Keytruda. Person has surgery, and then they receive adjuvant Keytruda for nine more cycles to complete a total of a year of immunotherapy. A couple of key things to note. So number one, how does Keytruda work? Keytruda blocks the PD-1 pathway. So T cells are immune system cells that should be recognizing the cancer as foreign and attacking it but it doesn't happen in certain cancers, including triple negative breast cancer, because what happens is the tumor has PDL1 and PDL2 that bind to PD1 on the T cells, essentially rendering them inactive so they can no longer attack the cancer. So now Keytruda comes in and Keytruda binds to PD1 on the T cell so that PDL1 and PDL2 on the cancer can't bind. And now the T cell almost, almost reawakens and is able to attack the cancer. In terms of side effects of Keytruda, it's a little bit different. You know, with chemotherapy, people get the chemotherapy, they have side effects for several days to a week, or and then the side effects improve. It's different with immunotherapy. Sometimes what happens is the immune system kind of gets activated and you can have impacts on any organ system. Most commonly we see impact on the thyroid. People can develop hypothyroidism, so we're checking the thyroid function regularly, but you can get impact on the lungs, the heart, the intestines, your endocrine glands, muscles, joints, really any organ system can be affected. and it can be hard to identify, is this an immune-related adverse event from the immunotherapy? Is it a chemotherapy side effect? So that's something that you definitely were always monitoring. Some people who develop immune-related adverse events do need to have some sort of immune suppression, either with steroids or other medications. Uh, in terms of the benefit of Keytruda, what we saw in the Keynote 522 study is that the addition of immunotherapy to chemotherapy reduces the risk of recurrence or death by 37%. The magnitude of benefit is greater in those that do not achieve a pathologic complete response. So meaning at the time of the surgery, when the tumor is removed, there's still some cancer remaining in that specimen that's removed. There are now studies looking at if someone has a pathologic complete response, normally right now we still continue Keytruda for nine more cycles, but the studies are looking at if we can de-escalate and remove Keytruda if someone does not, if someone has a pathologic complete response. So lots more to come, but the addition of immunotherapy has really changed how we treat stage two and stage three triple negative breast cancer. Let me know what questions you have about Keytruda, immunotherapy, uh, or TNBC in general. I'd love to answer them.